Hey. Welcome back to Thorium. Hey, everybody. Yeah, welcome to Thorium. Um, this is a different video. Yeah. Because we are, we're making our game while we're releasing our Thorium videos to show you guys stuff. We want to show you most of the steps that we take, or all of them. Yeah, in some so, fashion. so we thought it might be cool because I've been doing concept art, which is basically the, the, the enemies of the game. I've been drawing them up and getting them on the computer and coloring them and getting them to where we can import them into the game. So we figured it'd be cool to show you guys how I do that. And I know I'm not the best artist or yeah, I'm, I'm not very good, but this is how we do it. So the first thing you need to do is draw out your picture. If you're going to do it my way, you draw it out and I always upload them to Google drive, download them from Google drive. And then open them in this thing called Paint. Is it just Paint.net? Yeah, you can see it up here. It's a free program called Paint.net. Uh, you download it at just type in Paint.net on Google, and there's a download. It's for pretty it. awesome. It's decent for like simple stuff. Sorry, I had a really, <laughs> a really, really sour Jolly Rancher. Anyway, um, I had this bit out. So yeah, it, it's it's good for basic. Uh, it's kind of like Audacity, like it's a really nice free program yeah. that covers so, most of the bases. So step one is get your picture into this, and what I do is I click image, go to resize, and I set the width as 500. That is my base width, no matter what. It'll scale down the height to whatever. It'll scale it everything down. So yeah. all I do is type in 500 and click OK, and it does this. Next thing is if your layers aren't open, click right up here. You pull this little layers thing up, go. Pfft. Now you got a second layer. This Boom. one, this one's on top. So this is actually the layer you're going to be drawing on, because we're going to delete the picture out from under it. So don't worry about that. So you're essentially just tracing, right? You're tracing a drawing that you did. Yeah. And you can do this with other drawings, but if you want it to be your own, you know. So I sat here and drew this while we were doing Metacom, and you should check out Metacom because it's awesome. <laughs> so the color palette, if you don't already have it open, you just click the little one up there. I already have it on black. So what I'm going to do, and we're going to speed up through this, is I'm going to take this tool right here which is a line tool. And the way this works is, here I'll show you so that you guys can figure it out. Uh, you basically click where you want your line to end, and you click where you want it to start, and then you use these little tabs that are on it, and you can hold and pull these to fit the shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely outline this guy, uh, and we're gonna speed through it, and then we'll talk to you as soon as it's done. As a note, though, before we go, before we go, there, this is one way to do. This is the clean way. This is the way that I f like doing it for our rights. You could screen. just trace it, essentially, right? Yeah, with the regular drawing, you can zoom in super far, and you can just draw over it. That takes longer, and it's more. It's, it's jaggedy. Yeah, if you like that style more. Yeah, and it, it doesn't look bad, I don't think. But uh, you know, for the game that, for the style that we're using, and the way that I think it'd be the best, we're doing it this way. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Yep. Uh, just finished outlining and then we delete the last picture oh so you click on that one you delete it excuse me and you need to make sure everything is outlined so this is you know, he is nice and outlined definitely not the best thing I've ever drawn but he's got his outline so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed through this because it takes me a while uh, you're gonna click up here on your little color wheel and you're gonna pick his colors, and what I do is I pick a color I want, and then, so if we wanna make his coat, probably start with like a dark. If we wanna make it this dark blue, we could go to the max select and then click it, and that looks a little weird. So yeah. what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna we're gonna speed through this, and we're gonna completely color the guy, so. 
Enjoy. Okie dokie. So this is this is the end of step two basically. And this is literally just choosing the base color palettes. It's going to look slightly different by the time we finish. Um, what else? Uh, shading the eyes. Yeah, so I do not... Don't put anything in the eyes if you want glowing eyes, because I'm going to show you guys how to do sort of this slight glow effect. It's not very good, but it's it, it adds a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do now is the most tedious, boring thing ever, and you're going to hate it. You have to re-outline the whole thing. So do exactly what you did oh. the first time, making sure it's dark. Because you see how the fill effect, it gives it that little almost blurry looking. Yeah, the lines are all faded out. Yeah, they all fade. So we want to darken them up for this style of art. Um, We're cell shading generally, right? Sort like, of, yeah. In a way. So that's literally what I'm about to do. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Yay! <laughs> So this is, uh, we, I just redid it. That was yeah, painstaking. Yeah. So you can see he looks a lot crisper now. And the thing is, you're like, hey, but some of those lines are a little jaggedy. Well, he's going to be like that big. Yeah. So it's going to look, uh, it's going to look better. I would fix the shirt sleeve there, right there. Uh, well, well, we'll touch it up. Yeah. Here's how, here's what we do next. This is the part where you kind of need to be a little bit artsy fartsy. The way you do this is simple. Because uh, we're going to do shading. You use your little dink a dink and you pick and you have your thing open and you just pick how dark you want it and then you go to opaque and that's how you create your shadow then you close it you go to the paintbrush tool and you zoom in and you just you draw a little bit of here I'll show you draw a little bit of shading where you want your shading this is the bit that like and it doesn't it's not going to be that radical of a change most of the time because it'll look different when you zoom out it'll look different but um you have to remember with a lot of like pixel art and stuff a lot of it has to do with these slight color changes and things like that someone from michigan's calling me you want so, to take that yeah just to mess with them so right. i'll take it right now okay so back <laughs> back from the well, sorry about that well i gave i gave you a little pause so you can edit that out if you need to okay so let's just keep going uh that was weird if we don't play what just happened because i kind of cussed uh, uh a security company from michigan called me Whatever. I'm not even a homeowner. I think it might be like a misdial. Automated. Yeah. Whatever. So, literally what I'm doing now, you're just going to zoom... Oh. oh, control Z, that shit. Yeah. I'll just do it my way. Uh, you're literally just going to go through and put shade where you need shade. And remember to do it for each color. So you need to... If you're using this... If you're doing this gray, you need to do the gray and then the thing. So... Just go through and hopefully yours looks pretty good. We'll, we'll speed through this, so enjoy.
Okie dokie. Hey! So I completely shaded him. And that's what he looks like. Hurrah. So he's not the best. That's okay. Um, what I'm going to do now is you don't have to do this. If you already did the eyes and filled them in and shaded them or whatever, uh, then you're done. But if you wanted the glowing eyes, which is a cool song, I'm going to show you how to do them. So I just do 500. Oops. Uh, did you save it? Oh. I saved him earlier. I can save him. Again. Cool. All right, so I go into this new drawing, and I like to add because the the background is white. So yeah, that's what we want. So then we're gonna just go to shapes, and then you click right here. So it's gonna fill the shape with what you want, and then you go into your colors. So we want this guy to have glowing blue eyes. So that's a cool color. So then you make your little rectangle. That should be good. And once you have your rectangle, you go to Effects, Photo, Glow. So we can set the super bright glow on it. So now we have this glowing block. Cool. So then what we do is we get a little tool right up here. We highlight our little glowing block, make sure you get the glowies in there, and you click copy. Come over here, you make a new layer, and then you click this little paste button right here. So then all we gotta do is squish that to about the right size. You don't want it coming yeah. out of his face, so once you get there, Pull this layer on top of that layer. Damn. And boom, you got some little glowy, glowy eyes. Look at that they're shit. They're not too out there, but I think they're. I think it's a cool little thing to add. Yeah. So then when you I go can. to save this bad mamma jamma, you go to PNG, PNG, Water Mage, save over it. Yes, and when you click this, yes. Okay, so it makes you flatten all your layers, which is why you need to have uh, the, the original picture out. So if you flatten... So now it should all be saved. Save it again for kicks. So now, do you mind if I... Uh, wait. Don't, that, we don't need that. That would stop the recording. Would it? Yeah. Okay, well, we will cut to something in just a second. So see you in a second. All right, we're back. So this was the original. And there's a new one. So you, can, you can see the transition. Uh, while this doesn't look that great compared to that, it's really cool to see your... Uh, you know, to be able to see your art, even if it's not for a game, even if it's just for art. Um, you know, seeing it come to life and seeing how it changes, it definitely looks a lot better than the uh, the original, I think. It does. So, a lot sharper. that's how I do it. And that is how I do it. That is how I do it. This is how we do it. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope someone finds it kind of useful. Remember, it's paint.net that you need, and then just a camera and a Google Drive. Yep. So, paint.net is free. Uh, to download. If you draw anything cool, send it to us. Um, we'll show it on the channel. Yeah. It'll be awesome. Bye-bye.